Now look, there's a reason why this dropshipping store made $200 in sales on the first day of testing a product and over $500 in sales on the second day. And this was all starting from $100. Now the main puzzle piece that led to these results in the first place was a bulletproof TikTok ad strategy. And in this video, ladies and gents, I'll be showing you guys my exact step-by-step click-by-click -click proven TikTok ad strategy that you can literally copy and paste when it comes to any Shopify dropshipping product. Just know that Q4 is one of the most important last three months of the year where e-commerce and dropshipping stores generate 50 to 80% of your annual revenue. Damn! That being said, it's super imperative that you have a strategy with no missing leaks. So you go ahead and maximize the potential of every product you test. At the end of the day, you don't wanna just go ahead and waste a bunch of money. I like to keep things short and simple. So without any further ado, let's hop into my computer. So first things first, obviously, if you already don't have a TikTok ad account, you'll need one to run ads on it. So you can just sign up for it. It's fairly simple. Just click on create now, and then just enter your email, your password, and fill out the other information that it asks you. So once you're in your TikTok ad account, this is an older ad account, by the way, so just ignore all the campaigns and stuff. So let's take care of some housekeeping things, okay? And this is very important. So make sure you have this done prior to setting up ads for your product. So you'll need to go ahead and download the TikTok app for Shopify. It's on the app store and it's free. So once you're in the app, you'll go ahead and click on settings, make sure you're on marketing, connect your TikTok ads manager, that should sink in. Add a payment method. I like to use a credit card personally. And and for targeting locations, we want both countries in North America. So that include the US and Canada. Afterwards, click on data sharing. And then for the pixel level, you'll click on maximum. Now I already have a pixel created for the purpose of this video, obviously, but you'll be able to connect a brand new pixel right over here. And once you have that, just click on confirm. So now you'll go back to the ads manager. And what we'll do is go on tools and go to events. Once we're at this screen, we want to go to web events and click on manage. So you should see your pixel pop up right over here that you just created on Shopify. Again, it should both sync in with each other. We'll click on the pixel and then afterwards, Sorry, that took a little while to load, but once we're in settings right over here, we wanna make sure automatic advanced matching is turned on. It essentially just maximizes the tracking of the pixel when you are running ads. And also make sure these two check boxes are enabled. Same thing with cookie usage and data post back and everything else you can pretty much just leave at default. So once you're back on campaign, you know, the ads manager level, you're now ready to set up your campaign for your product. So let's go ahead and click on create. For our advertising objective, we're going to select website conversions as that's our goal. Now for the campaign name, I like to be very organized. Okay. When it comes to running ads and managing different ads and stuff like that, you want to be organized in general because you kind of want to keep track of when you're launching things, when you're scaling things, when you're cutting things off. So just food for thought. I like to put the date. So, you know, we're in September. I'll put September 6th. I'll put uh, product XYZ. We are using just a test product for the purpose of this video, which you will see in just a little bit. And then I'll do ABO, which is ad set budget optimization. And then we'll do US plus Canada, because we're going to be targeting those two top countries. And if you don't know, ladies and gents, ABO is ad set budget optimization, where the budget is at the ad group level. So each ad group will have five in total. Each ad group will have its own individual budget to spend. That's all it really means. Other than that, we can skip all of this pretty much leave it at default and click on continue where it says optimization location we're going to select our tiktok pixel and then for optimization event we're going to select complete payment we want to optimize for purchase for complete payment as that is the end result we want customers to go through it on our shopify store scroll down and then where it says placements click on select placement and i will uncheck global app bundle and pangle really not needed when it comes to these options right here i disable video download and i also disable user comment we only want video sharing to be turned on for demographics us should be pretty much on by default and then we also want to select Canada so now when it comes to gender okay unless it's a very obvious product that it's for you know one or the other gender you know then you can go ahead and specify but if it's more of a gender neutral product that almost anyone can buy you can you know just leave all you don't want to assume from the get-go you always want to let the data do the talking so the product I'm testing for the purpose of this video in which you'll see in just a little bit I promise stop the cap is a product for females okay it's in the makeup and 
beauty niche, I will tell you that. So I'm just gonna click on females and then I always like to do um, 18 to 55 plus. This age range right here, I mean, they really don't have that much buying power. They're probably gonna use like their parents' credit card or something. So we want more matured buyers. So 18 to 55 plus. You can leave all of this blank, guys. Again, I'm not gonna go through them individually, but you can just leave them at default. Now our daily budget for the first ad group, I mean, for all ad groups, but for this one specifically is going to be $20, okay? Now I also like to start, you know, all my ads at midnight at 12 a.m. So they spend evenly throughout the day and they also optimize properly from the get-go. There'll be an instance where when you are scaling, you'll see a majority of your sales coming from a certain time frame. In that case, you can go ahead and day part. That's what it's called day parting where you can segment the times where the ads are running and active. Uh, but for this case, again, we don't want to assume, right? This is a brand new product. It's a cold audience, top of funnel. So we'll just select all day. And then for optimization goal, make sure it's conversion for bid strategy, lowest cost. And then all of this should be pretty much how it is and then we'll click on next so where it says custom identity you definitely want to have one so you'll essentially type in the name of your store or your brand and set the logo for it and i also like to turn on smart creative ads this is very very important so essentially smart creative ads to make it very simple it will uh, combine all your creatives with the ad tech so it will make combinations of it and you'll exactly know what i mean in just a little bit as we scroll down so let's add three ad techs okay we'll add three ad techs and we'll fill them in in just a little bit. Now, when it comes to creatives for TikTok, I like to have anywhere between four to eight creatives when I'm starting out. Creative fatigue is very prominent on the platform because it is a, you know, creative or video-based platform, I would say. Unlike, you know, Facebook and TikTok, there's like ad texts and there's images and there's stories. There's other things going on on the platform. So with TikTok, you know, you want to make sure that you have a quality arsenal of videos from the get-go. And again, that's just because it's 99% video contingent, right? Like the platform or the app itself. All right, so I got my four creatives in, and if you're wondering, by the way, where I get my creatives from, I utilize a service called Viral Ecom Ads. They are extremely good at what they do. Trust me when I say that. I'll be having a link in the description down below where you can actually get 15% off when you do order from Viral Ecom Ads. But like I said, treat your creatives very seriously because especially when it comes to TikTok, going back to my point, it can really make or break your first initial test of your product. All in all, do not neglect your creative. So with that being said, let's take a look at the product. Okay, I'll play one of the videos so y'all can get an idea, but it's essentially a four in one makeup pen. And uh, yeah, I'll just let the video do the explanation. So yeah, it's a four in one pen where it has an eyeliner, a brow pen and other things. So it is a problem solving product. It's a convenience product. Women have four makeup tools all in one pen. Pretty cool product if you ask me. And I think it has a lot of potential when it comes to Q4 actually. I did find this product through my product research and validation strategy and I haven't tested it. But if you're watching this, I would definitely recommend doing so. That might or might not be a hit for something. So when it comes to the ad techs, I like to switch it up, okay? So I'll have something like, something salesy, so I'll have like 40% off sale till midnight only. Then I'll have something more native to the platform, more kind of flowy to the video itself, right? So I'll have like, oh my God, or OMG, you need this ladies and then you can have something more direct that kind of explains what the product does uh, save time getting ready with this four-in-one makeup pen now sometimes you can also give the product title itself a unique name so instead of makeup pen I'll put like four-in-one pen pal again just food for thought the next thing you'll have to do is input your landing page your product page URL so once you have that you can customize your call to action so I always like to do dynamic in the beginning so for a product like this I'll do like shop now learn more uh, maybe not check it out read more view now I'll do order here order now um, not order place now, but, and then get 40% off. So I'll have like three to four or three to five different call to actions, right? So we have three, four, and five, and then we'll just press on confirm. So because we had the smart creative option turned on, kind of going back to it, it generated us 12 ads, okay? Cause we had four creatives and obviously three ad tech. So four times three is 12. You smart. And it'll make essentially different combinations of the ads and show it to people and then optimize further based on which combination is working well and then lastly we can click on submit the hardest part is basically over so once you're back at the campaign level we'll click on the campaign and go inside of it to the ad group level you'll see the ad group we just created at $20 a day now what we're gonna do is select it and we're gonna copy it four more times within the same campaign okay within the 
exact same campaign that we just created. Now, every ad group will be essentially a duplicate of each other. It will be like a carbon copy on the front end, right? But TikTok's AI and its machine learning will go ahead and pull to a different audience. Every ad group will kind of be doing its thing on the back end in the background, and they'll kind of be fishing to different audiences, okay? So we want to have at least five when we're starting out. Just make sure it's on the existing campaign, the one that we just created, and then we'll click copy. So we have our four duplicated ad groups right here. All you have to do is go down and then just change the date. Okay, make sure you guys change the date so it's in sync or it's aligned with that first initial ad group that we created. And now when it comes to the creatives and the ad text, everything else will copy over from the first ad group. So we don't even have to touch that at all. Again, like I said, the hard part is done with. Now we are just doing this and then we'll go to the last one and do the same thing. And yep, we can click on continue. And then once we're on the last page, just click on publish. It'll publish all four new ad groups. Awesome. So now we have five ad groups in total. This first one already got approved. These are still in review. TikTok does scan, you know, your creatives, your ads themselves, and also your landing page on Shopify too, to ensure that they're compliant to the platform's policies. So essentially every ad group, okay, this was the first ad group, will have, you know, 12 creatives, okay, 12 creatives in total. So 12 ads. This one will also have the same 12 ads, right? And then right here, obviously all the other ones will have the same 12 ads as well, you guys essentially get the point. And then lastly, your KPIs, your metrics are very important too, so you can gauge off of them and make right strategic decisions, okay? Um, so I like to have, and by the way, you can customize it from here, just click on customize column. But I like to have my 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 scheduling date, my total cost, my cost per click, my CPM, impressions, clicks, my CTR or my click-through rate, the amount of conversions or sales, my CPA, which is the cost per acquisition or cost per purchase, uh, your CVR, your clicks and your impressions for that, and and then results, your cost per result, which is kind of the same thing as CPA, um, and then result rate, and then complete payment ROAS. This is by far like the most important metric, okay? Meaning how much money based on you're putting in is TikTok spinning back out you, or is Shopify spinning back out at you? So ROAS is return on ad spend. What is your return on the initial ad spend that you're spending? If we spend $100 a day the first day and you get $200 in sales, for example, that is a two ROAS, so more than likely, you will be profitable. Go ahead and take advantage of this TikTok ad strategy. Like I said in the beginning, you can literally implement this when it comes to any dropshipping product out in the market. Also, I get a lot of people asking me this, but if you do want to talk to me one on one, actually hop on a call and dive deeper into your questions, thoughts, or concerns when it comes to anything about dropshipping about your Shopify store, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below where you can actually schedule a one on one growth call with myself. There's only a handful of spots available for this, so definitely take advantage of it. Also, also, be sure to claim your $1 a month Shopify offer through my link in the description down below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Yash. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace.